Thank you very much for staying with your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso. Now, let's talk about this. We know that we've heard this one. The on-demand nature of podcasts has seen a huge surge in popularity of the medium. It's growing exponentially. But many people don't know that podcasts actually do go back to the 1980s. And they were initially called audio blogging. And today, over 30 million podcast episodes have been released as podcasting continues to grow in popularity in South Africa and all over the world. Of course, this hashtag Tech Thursday, who better to give us a beginner's guide to podcasts than a man who has, for years, been at the forefront of content creation, now content creator, and the man behind the What's Your Poison podcast, Mr. John Savage, joins us via video call to offer some top tips on podcasting. John, so good to be able to connect with you on this space because like Tabisa said, podcasting is really is the it's forefront. Big. It's big. Everybody is talking about it. Now, why do you think podcasts have become so popular, particularly during the national lockdown in South Africa, where people are just looking for content? Or what was the hunger? Well, I think, look, uh, I've been a, a proponent of podcasting for 10 years. So, so it's, uh, I don't know what, the, the lockdown has just sped up the need for digital content. So that was, it was always there and it was always heading in the same direction. It wasn't, I don't think podcasting is new in the demand space. I just think it's been accelerated. But the, the thing about podcasts that I love is that uh, traditional media like radio and TV tend to serve um, like a wide audience. You, you want to reach as many people as you, as you can. But in podcasting, the kind of more weirdly nerdy or small your niche is, the more popular you can be. For example, if you like, um, you know, if you are very, if you are a fishing nut and you like very specific weird kind of fishing rods, you know, um, you would probably find uh, if you if you put that content on radio, very few people be interested in it. But if you put it in a podcast, a very obscure fishing podcast, you probably find that maybe there's twenty thousand people around the world who are obsessed with your podcast. Mm. And, and with that, you can monetize that because now, if you're a fishing company, for example, would you rather have your fishing rod seen on a, a radio station where a million people are gonna see it or in a place where there's 10,000 fishing mad enthusiasts who want the weirder, more expensive, difficult things. So mm. I think podcast allows us to indulge our weirdest interests. You can learn the language, you can, whether it's comedy, entertainment, funny interviews, see a different side of, of an interview, even in you know in a space like this, the problem with being on TV is well, I have a time limit to try and tell you a message. In the podcasting world, I can have a conversation with you for two hours, one hour, three hours. It doesn't matter. And so it's a whole new sort of for those who are obsessed with content like me. It's a new way to get very deep in the content you really are mm -hmm. passionate about. I just like fell down a uh, well, maybe I won't tell you that. I went down a pit <laughs> of. Uh, of obsessing about a particular thing. And I just found podcasts and podcasts and episodes and episodes. And now I'm a supposed couch expert on that particular thing. Um, and I think that's why podcasts are obsessive and really cool. Um, and you can learn a lot from everything uh, in the podcasting domain. And yes, you're not the only person that falls off the stairs. You know what I mean? <laughs> John, speaking <laughs> of podcasts, you, uh, like I mentioned, you have a podcast called What's Your Poison? Maybe give us some background on your podcast and who have been some of the guests on your show and where can people tune in? So my podcast is, a, is an accident. You know, I work with so many people on podcasts and I create podcasts for other people. Um, during lockdown, I was working so hard. I wanted to do something that was just for fun, just for me. And I had this idea. And again, this speaks to pod, the nature of podcasts. I just want to talk to people I like or people I, um, I admire and send a bottle of whiskey to their house, make them drink it while we talk and see what happens. No agenda, no preparation and, and see. And what, what kind of happened very quickly is that the whiskey starts to loosen some lips and you start getting really beautiful <laughs> stories that they wouldn't ordinarily tell. And again, it's only something you can do in the podcasting space. It's no hold bars, weird conversations with no agenda that are like an hour long. One of the beauties of podcasts, the more, the more, um, natural they are. In other words, you start them because it's something you're passionate about, mm. the better they are. When you're trying to sort of corner a market and you approach it from a corporate perspective, it's very hard because people know. The weirder, the more obscure, the more niche your idea is, the better your podcast can do. And I can only, I, I don't know that I'm doing anything special with my podcast, but people are relating to the really deepness um, and kind of silliness of the interviews. And I suppose then it can uh, organically grow into a space where you're able to commercialize uh, and earn from whatever that niche space or market is that you're speaking to. Uh, you've got my full interest. I want to start a podcast 
today, all right? Uh, for yeah. someone like me who's looking to start a podcast, what are some of the things or equipment I'm going to need? So this is the beauty of podcasting. The, um, the, the barrier to entry is nil. And in terms of equipment, yeah, you can have like fancy mics and stuff if you want, but you don't need them. You can create, edit, and broadcast podcasts directly from your phone. So there's three, there's kind of two things. There's the hardware, the so well, three things, hardware, the software, and the distribution. The hardware is very simple. You need a mic. Your phone has a mic. You can hire, rent, buy a mic. You can use your laptop. And if you're just doing a talkie podcast, um, that whether the person is in your room or whether you're doing them like we're, I'm on a Zoom call now, you just Zoom the guy and press record and you've got a recording of, of the audio. Then the second part is editing, and there's lots of free editing software. You want the thing to at least sound professional, so you can use, there's a free piece of software called Audacity, um, any free editing software. And then for distribution, um, Spotify has released this product called Anchor, um, and it does the whole thing for free for you. You upload your podcast onto Anchor, and it distributes it to Spotify, Google Podcasts, wow. um, iTunes, anywhere, Apple, everywhere you want to go. So those are the three steps, and there's nothing stopping anyone from starting a podcast. What I would just say is keep podcasts lo-fi, because if you're ambitious with your podcast, you need sustainability. What works in this digital space is consistency. So if you start an elaborate three-camera um, podcast with the most famous people in South Africa, you're not going to be able to sustain that. Um, you need it to be really simple and easy to do so you can do it every week for so it's a slow growth. W with my What's Your Poison podcast, I have a five-year strategy that I've put together and I'm, ha I'm halfway through the first year only. Um, and that's, that's how you, you grow an audience. I think this is great. Beautiful. John Savage, thank you so much for your time this morning, teaching us all things uh, podcast and just the digital space that you're in. I'm sure we'll see you for many more years to come, but thank you so much for joining us this morning. Make sure to tune into his podcast, What's Your Poison, as season two continues to take off with more enticing and captivating content. In a bit, Grant Hines will bring us the latest in podcast equipment. You want to check that out.